If you open Finder on your MacBook and go to search option and search any file or folder located on your MacBook, it will not search. In so many cases, it doesn't search, but I did some settings, then it will search everything on my external drive. This is my external drive HDD and this is Macintosh HD. So I can search any file located anywhere on these drives, not only on these drives, but on my OneDrive as well. You can index it forever, not just for one time. And I'm going to show you two methods. In the past, I created this video fix Mac Finder search not showing files and folders on local and external drives. This is one method and that will help. Maybe after some days, two or three days, this will get back to the other situation where you can't find any files and folders on this Mac. Let's talk a little bit about this method. Just need to go to your setting first of all and go to Siri Spotlight. Here you need to go to Spotlight Privacy. Here you can mount and then unmount or demount whatever you call the hard drive or the folder you want to search in for example in my case this is external and internal anyone internal is okay i choose this one hit okay and now just need to remove and it will search everything you selected here in these options if you want to uncheck these options it will not search those options here on your internal or external any connected device but this is a temporary method maybe after some time you can't search those files again you need an app that is actually already there on your macbook first of all go to your application and go to utility here you will find an app that is called automator if that is not here you just go to search automator app that is already there hit enter this is the app already installed on your macbook and once it's open like this one just cancel and open it again and it will ask you for a quick action and here we have to deal with some commands just go to quick action here choose an action now this window will open just leave the default setting but here you need to type shell and here is run shell script drag it to the right side here you can see all the procedure is written i will paste this command to the description of this video just go and remove this cat and paste the command now what is your password your password is your macbook password and in my case this is double one double two double three and then this your password is also double one double two double three and here you have to drag your volumes for example you want your macbook to search your external drive or the internal one internal one is here macintosh so this is automatically selected you don't need to do anything you just go and run the script and save it but in my case i have external one as well so what i need to do just drag this external drive here after this one like this and it will automatically take this one it has already taken so i'm gonna delete this one first and now i drag this volume here and it could be any folder for example you want to index your folder like this uh, downloads folder it's not searching anything or the library folder it's not indexed you can drag the library folder here in like this place and it will be all right so in my case like this one is already there so this means your internal hard drive remember that and if you don't want or you don't have any external device just delete this one and i have both of the internal and external hard drive so i have been using a different command and that is this one if you have multiple devices you can use this command command c and replace this whole text with command v in this case this double one double two double three is the password of my macbook the computer password and then this uh, sudo and then space and dash s and m d u t i l and then after on you can mount anything for example any folder or internal or external and this is end and then my external hard drive and after this forward slash you can drag your external hard drive like i taught you before I'm going into details because it is necessary to be like detail oriented. For your convenience, I will paste these commands in the description. You can just simply copy and change the password of your computer instead of mine and use these commands. Same like this one. Once you're done, I have already saved this one, but once you're done, you just go there, press command S or go to file and save. Here you can rename 
anything like index your Mac. So I have saved this one. And now I'm going to show you how it works. After creating this service, you need to go to your finder and now go to go option, press option button and you will see library. Just click on this one. And now you need to go to services. And here are different services I have created on my MacBook. And this is one of the services. Look, it will open like this one and you can see the command now. I just need to press run if my laptop is not searching anything. You can see this tiny little icon it's tick mark it's a green one now my laptop is indexed i don't need to go to setting and recheck everything and do those privacy things each time i just need to go to this place and press this button and my macbook and external and internal all the hard drives and other devices will be indexed automatically now i can just go simply search anything capcut because i have so many tutorials on capcut and it will search all the files and if i go there in my OneDrive and here I search CapCut and it will search only any folder, any particular place, anything. I can search anywhere, no matter it's like internal or external or any device on my computer or OneDrive or external or internal. So I hope this video has given you some sort of value and you have fixed your services. If you want to delete those services, you can always go hit delete button and the service will be deleted. It's that easy. I hope you fixed the issue and if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe and write in the comments if you are still having any kind of problem i will try my best to sort it out i'll see you in the next video bye